education, good health and well-being, and empowerment opportunities to those in need. Moreover, Gavi is a co-founder of Digivast Media, a thriving digital marketing agency based in Lagos State, Nigeria. With their famous are leveraging the power of digital platforms, Digivast Media assists business in establishing a strong online presence, implementing effective marketing strategies, and driving growth in the competitive digital landscape. Oluwaseun Gabi Akinola's expertise, dedication, and commitment to empowering individuals and businesses have earned her a respected reputation in the professional community. Her relentless pursuit for excellence continues to inspire the, and uplift those around her, making her a true catalyst in the marketplace. With this biography of hers, you will believe me that she is the best person for today's job. That is the hands on linking profile optimization for professional branding. Ms. Gabi, the floor is yours, please. All right, thank you so much, um, Dr. Kojo, I think I pronounce well, I'm not sure. And it's a privilege to be here. I really appreciate it. And I hope that this is going to help a lot of people here, especially the OAAD, the Agreed Research Group individuals. All right, so um, the topic I'm going to be talking about today is Ant's own experience on LinkedIn profile optimization. you know how to brand yourself and um, you can hear me clearly please do let me know what i'm saying all right so let me just uh, move on let me try to send my, okay i want to share my screen Okay, a quick one, please, before your screen come up. Um, uh, she will give us a presentation, and after that, there will be a question and answer session. So if you have any question regarding our presentation, you can type the question in the chat box, or after the presentation, you know, during the session, you can use the uh, electronic raise hand. Then we can, uh, you know, allow you to ask your question. Thank you so much. Please, you can go ahead. All right, I hope everybody can see my screen. I hope um, you can see it clearly. Yeah, we can see it, but it is not. All right, so um, one thing I love. Sorry, I didn't get what you said. Uh, it is not on the presentation mode. I don't know if you can put it on the you know uh, presentation mode. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Trying to put it in slide mode. Probably, if you have done that, you might need to share again. Then now you share the slide presentation mode instead of the you know the window mode. Okay, let me try again. I think it's it. Can I send it to you? So I can any share from your end. Oh, sure. You okay. Can that. You can share with me and I'll, I'll, I'll get it to the team.
Actually, you can try it, put it on the slide mode. Then, you know, you stop sharing from your, you know, from your windows, you will see the slide, you share the, the slide mode. Okay, then I'm coming, I'm going to share it. Okay. You are muted, please. I can help unmute you for me. Yeah. I said I'm unable to edit at the moment because my mind, so I can't enable edit. So I'm going to um, project it from your end. Ooh. All right. You are actually a co-host, and you can actually. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I use Microsoft um, Premium to do for everything that I do. So I save all my. Uh, let me try it. I think I can do it like this. Um, sorry, Gabby, if you are still struggling, you can share with me on WhatsApp and I'll get it to the team to present yeah, from here and speak to the slides. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm coming. I'm just going to put it. I'm sorry for taking your time, please. I've sent it to you. I think you should have sent it. A minute, a minute. Let me get into the team quickly. All right, um, while um, we are waiting for Dr. Kojo to project it, I believe everyone on this call has a LinkedIn account. I believe everybody has a LinkedIn account. And also, um, I believe everyone is also active on the LinkedIn account because that is one of the, you know, professional, the best professional platform that every the profession that you are into, LinkedIn is one of the best platform that I've done of my own journey and why I, 
how I started my journey on LinkedIn um, in Nigeria, because I don't know if you have Nigerian. Nigerians in Nigeria, so as you tell you, you serve under a company, it was during um, the completion of my NYC program that's my one internship program. That I started thinking to myself, that What am I going to do after my undergraduate studies? How am I going to, you know, get a job? Because we all know the economy everywhere, especially in Nigeria, that it is not easy to try to get a job. So I started thinking to myself that what am I going to do? Because as at that time, I've been hearing about LinkedIn, but I never thought of, you know, creating an account or using LinkedIn at all. So I started, you know, asking myself, what am I going to do after this internship program? Ah, how am I going to Um, sort out bees and you know just be financial this discussion with some of my friends and I was uh, one of them told me that I need to create an account and I need to put myself out there and prior before then I've been in leadership programs as an undergraduate you know during my undergraduate days so the person was like you should put yourself out there that He's very sure that I'm going to get a job here in LinkedIn. And that was what led me in LinkedIn account. So I created a LinkedIn account, posting the things. I just started with motivational writing. I started with, you know, some things, but I was I was still not getting it. Then I was introduced to um, an, a LinkedIn expert who taught me how to optimize my LinkedIn profile. And after optimizing my LinkedIn profile, Two months that I, I landed two jobs. One was a remote job, and the second one was an internship program. And these two jobs, I I didn't have to go through the stress of you know submitting CVs, interviews, you know going through all those stress. It was just easy for me because I'd optimized my LinkedIn profile. My profile was okay, and I think they were okay with it. And that was part of the things that actually landed me the job opportunities. And Ever since then, I've been getting a lot of opportunities on LinkedIn, and it's over four years now. Yeah, because I, I finished NYC 2019. Five years. It's going to five years now, and LinkedIn has really transformed my life in career opportunities, networking, you know, and a lot of things. Even getting the privilege to speak here is also via LinkedIn. So I'm going to encourage every professional here to take you know, the platform a bit more serious than ever because there are a lot of opportunities that you can gain through this platform. Um, Dr. Corey, okay. So um, it would be nice for me to just go into LinkedIn optimization without telling you guys what LinkedIn is all about, telling you about the basics and all that. And as I'm telling you about the basics, I'm also going to tell you about the optimization and the importance and how you can also brand yourself professionally. And hopefully that this is going to be, um, a, this is going to offer much help to everyone here. All right, please can you go to um, the third slide? Thank you. Please, can we go to the third slide? Uh, who is in charge? Okay, let me check. Okay. From Lala, me. Are you facing a difficulty? Okay. I'm actually on the third slide. We can't see it yet. So I think uh, actually you are not sharing the slide mode. You are sharing, you know, the window mode. Okay, please share the slide mode, please. All right. So I'm, I'm also going to check it for my end, yeah? So um, the first slide is, what is LinkedIn? So I think before you go in depth into a thing, you should know what the thing is all about because there is this popular saying that when you don't know the use of a thing, uh, it can be abused. So let's look at what is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a valuable resource for career and business professionals to network, obtain resources and support, and also build relationships with potential customers, clients, 
freelance. You know, LinkedIn is ideal for business owners, for freelancers, for telecommuters. It can help people build their business and career as well, and also stay connected to the outside world. You know, the media is a, is a very interesting platform, and LinkedIn, for one, is this professional platform that it's not just like Facebook where you you it's about family and friends posting pictures for vacations and all that. It's not like Instagram. It's basically about professional. When you tell someone that you are on LinkedIn, they they want to connect with you. They want to check out a profile because they feel like there is something that you have that they can also learn from, that they can also gain from. So LinkedIn is a valuable resource. It's, it's, it's beyond just a social media platform. It's a platform to network, to obtain resources and support. There are a lot of things that I never knew, you know, years ago that I got to know through LinkedIn and reading, you know, posts from thought leaders, professionals, and, you know, through networking. So LinkedIn is that platform where you gain much understanding and helps you to put yourself out there to the point that you start reaching the right people that, you know, that align with what you, your career profession and, and everything that you want to do. So can we finish with the next slide? So LinkedIn also has its own platform and it's also different from other network, but learning how to use the LinkedIn platform is what a lot of people find more difficult. So we are, um, okay, so, sorry, I'm trying to read the message. Okay, I'm sorry I'm a bit too fast. So I believe everyone already have a LinkedIn account and one of the ways by which you optimize your LinkedIn account is, you know, first of all, you check out your profile. I want to go to my profile. So you go to your LinkedIn profile. I want to show you my profiles if, so that I don't just keep talking and I'm not showing you my profile. So when we talk about LinkedIn optimization is um, revamping your profile, like repositioning your profile to reflect who you are, what you do and the values that you have to give. Those are the major three things. Um, optimizing your LinkedIn profile is not because you just want to show your achievements or you want to prove to people that this is who you are, you are a doctor, you are this and that. It's about you know showing who you are reflecting your values and letting people know that this is what you do this is what you stand for so that anyone that aligns with anyone that is interested in it can connect with you and you know business can happen collaborations can happen partnerships can happen so link that is what linkedin optimization is all about and when talking about optimizing your linkedin profile it start with your profile because when you want to search for somebody's name on linkedin the first thing that shows up when you search for the person's name is their, um, their bio, like their headline. And I'm going to be showing you that shortly because I'm trying to log in into my personal LinkedIn account. I'm currently on another personal account, so I want to go into my own personal account. Um, Smiler, can you make me a co a co-host so I can assist with a projection from my end? I think your network is not stable. All right, all right. And Gabby, if you are struggling to log into your account, I can also project my LinkedIn account and you use that for the hands-on demonstration. Okay. You can project a LinkedIn account, yes. No problem. Okay. Okay, I have to project a LinkedIn account. Okay, so let me project the LinkedIn. Okay. 
Is this okay? Okay, it's here to show. I'm here to see it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, this is Dr. Kojo's LinkedIn account. And yeah, when we talk about optimizing LinkedIn profile, can you see that immediately he, he went to his profile? It was his page, like this part of his profile, the bio, where the bios, where the headline is, the background is, you know, and important information about what it does. Looking at Dr. Kojo's um, LinkedIn profile, now I know that he's into agriculture, he's, he's into research also, and he's located at Accra, Ghana, and he's also into consulting, looking at the link that he also had it. Even looking at his background cover alone shows everything about him. Right, so one of the important things about LinkedIn optimization is making sure that your profile reflects who you are, what you do, and the value that you bring to the table. So Dr. Kojo now, we already know his name looking at his profile. And when writing your LinkedIn, when writing your name on LinkedIn, um, you should start with capital letter. I see a lot of people starting their name with small letter. I don't know if any such person is here, but I've seen a lot of that on LinkedIn. You shouldn't start your name with a, um, is, is it lowercase? Yeah, you should start your name with lowercase. You should always start with uppercase, just like Dr. Kojo already writes his name. And also, your background cover should reflect what you are into. Um, looking at this background cover, it, we, we see copy editing and scholarly publishing. We see SME and <clears throat> SME and wash program evaluation, market research, and all that. Why it is not um, important that your background cover is too bulky but everything that you put in your background should reflect you know just put it in simplicity but that, that people can understand everything like it doesn't have to be lengthy it doesn't have to be too bulky but make sure that it is you know just straight to the point that this is what you do your background cover is very important and that and research has also shown that when you have a background cover your linkedin profile is 14 times you know more visible to people right like the increase in visibility, uh, it, it, there is increase in visibility when you have a background cover by 14 times, according to research, right? And this side is the headline where we have agribusiness advisor, AFCTFA and all that. So when you're writing your headline, you should start with the, the first, the, the most important things that you are currently into when you want to write um, your headline because a lot of people actually don't know how to write their headline. So this is what I do personally. I start and for the people that have trained, this is also what I advise them to do. Start with the major thing, the most important thing to you at the moment, what you are into. And headline doesn't have to be static. It can be done. You can keep changing it with time because, you know, people grow, there is growth, there is transitioning, there is a lot of that. So you can keep changing it with time, but make sure that it is the first, foremost important thing that you are into, that you are doing right now. That's, that should be the first thing that should come in your headline. And I feel Dr. Kojo's own is agribusiness advisor, right? So you should start with that. Anything that you feel that is most important to you, even if you are a student and you feel like you still have a business, you should start with the most important. Is it your education that is most important or your business? You should start with it first, right? Then follow by the second best. It's just like writing the list of your, um, is it your needs or your wants according to the priority? So you start with the priority to the least priority and you continue like that. And it doesn't have to be bulky also. You can just limit it to like four or five, um, you can just list it to four or five, you know, points like that, right? So that is that about the headline. And then let me continue with the slide and then we'll go back to this. Why is LinkedIn platform so important? Because I feel one of the questions um, people ask me, I actually did this PowerPoint based on the question, a lot of people questions, uh, a lot of people, the question a lot of people ask me about LinkedIn. So why is LinkedIn platform so important? Because I, when I started talking to people about LinkedIn, LinkedIn and all that, people were like, what's so special about LinkedIn? It's just like Instagram, it's just like Facebook, it's just like TikTok and all that. But I told them that LinkedIn is actually different. There is something that makes LinkedIn special, you know, compared to other platforms. And one of the reasons is that LinkedIn 
you know, can just change your orientation about something. Like for me, LinkedIn basically changed my orientation about, you know, um, connecting to people in the career world, in the business world, you know, how to connect with top professionals, top leaders. Because looking at um, myself back then as an undergraduate, you know, reaching out to top people in the business world, top leaders and all that, it's, it's true LinkedIn that, you know, I, I was able to boost my confidence in reaching out to these people that I can speak to them also. They are human, they won't bite, nothing is going to happen. You know, I, I got so many opportunities that gave me the platform to reach out to people that are ahead of me, right? So LinkedIn platform basically changed my orientation and gave me opportunities to explore my ideas. There are some ideas that I, a lot of people have and they feel like these ideas does not make sense. Like, how would I tell people to be doing this thing? How would I be selling this kind of service? How would I be doing this kind of skills? Ideas, there are some ideas that when you bring it on the LinkedIn platform, you see a lot of professionals that have also been thinking about this same idea. And then that is where you connect, collaborate. And you know, before you know it, the ideas, they are coming into manifestations. They are now becoming uh, something that you've envisioned for yourself. So LinkedIn is, even though, forget about Facebook, forget about Instagram, there are some things that you take to those platforms and people will just see you as, who is this? So this person is acting strange. But what you bring to the LinkedIn platform, based on the you know the uh, the intellectual capacity of most professionals, doctors, you know, we have um, a lot of you know top professionals on LinkedIn. Based on that, they can really grab what you are trying to push out. And if you are lucky, you can come across a mentor, somebody that can advise you and make it much more easier for you, right? And also, LinkedIn is also a social network. It is specifically designed for career and you know business cultivate professionals, right? And as of 2020, we have over 800 million professionals on LinkedIn. Now we are in 2024. Just imagine the number of professionals that we now have on LinkedIn. So let's meet um, here. Yeah, Iris, top secret that you should know about LinkedIn is that whether you are a marketing executive at a major company, you are a business owner who runs, you know, a small local shop, or you are a first year college student and you're looking for your first job after graduating, just like me, I was looking for a job and that was what led me to LinkedIn. And instead of landing just a job, I've gotten a lot of jobs and now I'm working remotely most of the time. I don't have to leave my house. I work remotely and I get most of my gigs, most of my jobs, most of opportunities from LinkedIn. That is just it from LinkedIn, right? So one of the things you know about LinkedIn is that LinkedIn is for everybody. It is not for some specific kind of people. It is not for first class students it is not for second class students it is not for those people that are seeking for a job also you don't have to be looking for a job for you to use linkedin you can use linkedin to explore what you are into your research opportunity Maybe you are into one or two research when you start sharing about your research updates and everything on linkedin before you know it it could lead to an idea and that, and that idea can turn into an organization and before you know it. What started as a research update on LinkedIn has now become an, a, a business or an organization or a company. It could even be an NGO before you know it, just by basically sharing your research updates, what you did. And sometimes you can even get collaboration opportunities with other people that are also interested in you your program or whatever you are doing, right? So you can think of LinkedIn as that high tech equivalent of going to a, tradition, a traditional networking event where you go and meet other professionals in person. So you talk a little bit about what you do on LinkedIn. Sometimes you exchange business contacts and it's just like one big virtual networking event, like a lot of us, all of us, we are just at the virtual meeting and we are trying to connect with people that align with what we do, right? So let's take a quick tour on um, the features of LinkedIn. So I'm just going to be using my profile so that I'll just go straight to the point. Can we all see my, just let me know if you can see. 
I think it's still trying to share. I'll give you some few seconds. Your network, it's a bit slow, so. Well, so at least I also try. Okay, okay I can equal the share from here. It still persist. Okay, is it showing now? Uh, no, no. Um, let me try and share from my end. I can share your profile from my end and then you speak to it. Yeah. Okay, so let me share from my end. That is so delayed. Can we see the screen? All right, thank you. Let's go Is to the room. Can you go to okay. the room? Hold on. Home. This is home. Okay, here. If I go to home, it will take me back to my profile no. because I am not the owner. Yeah, yeah, that's home. Yeah, so let me go back. Yeah, this home. Yeah, so let me go back so that, yeah, you can do without home. All right, so home is, um, these are the features. I'm now on the features of the LinkedIn platform. So this is home. Home is where you see posts of people that are connected with you or posts of people that, you know, that share a lot of posts. So LinkedIn bring people's posts based on what you search on LinkedIn, based on, you know, people that you are connected with, based on, you know, your activities on LinkedIn. Those, those are the kind of posts that you know come to you. If you search about maybe let's say maybe you, you consistently search about job seeking and all that, you can start seeing posts of HR and the likes. Also, you can see posts of people that are following you or people that you are connected with or people that are connected with people that are connected with you. That's like I like your second connections, right? So that is basically the homes. Can you go to my network? I'm on the feature. So we're going to be checking each um, part. Okay. My network is where you see a um, list of your followers and list of your connections. This is where you keep track of the, your followers, people that are following you, people that are... No, just click on my network. Yeah, give me some few minutes. I think I'm issuing too many commands, so... Okay, so, yeah. It's so this is where you see... Three seconds. All right, so this is where you see the number of your connections. If you click on manage my network, you're going to see the number of your followers, your connections, and people that are, are inviting to, you know, the invitations are people that are maybe sent you requests and all that. And also under my network is where you can connect with people that LinkedIn might be, and, and when LinkedIn show you people to connect with, it can be based on your location, the kind of job that you do and all that. Like, from his page now, people you may know from the University of Ghana, probably he went to University of Ghana and they start showing him people that he can also connect with that are also from University of Ghana. So when you go to my network, this is where you can connect with people that are in alignment with what you do, your company or from your place of work or from your school. And through this part, you can connect with, you know, old time friends, old time colleagues and all that. So can you see, he has like 30 connections and when you go to following and followers, I think he has not activated the following and followers. Once you activate the number of following and followers, instead of showing connections, it's going to show follow on your page, right? And this uh, also where you see the newsletters that he has subscribed to, hashtags, pages, events, and the likes. So that is basically about my network. And 
we are all familiar with messaging. I don't want them to click on the messaging because I think that is personal. So the messaging is the area where you chat with people and all that. It's just like other social media platforms. So that is the part where you send messages to people. You can, you know, collaborate with people and the likes. And then I'm, I'm still coming to the jobs part, but I want to just touch other areas. The notifications is where you get notified of any recent updates, maybe your friends or connect somebody make a post you can get notified for that i feel we are all familiar with notifications because even from our phones we get notified of any updates so it's same with linkedin and the me profile is where you update your profile can you click on the me please the me profile right. is me me the next one me okay me sorry this is where, no, this is, okay. Um, okay. so click on view profile. Okay. Uh, but at a point in time, ask people, participants to open their profile and then you guide them to optimize their profile, those who have not optimized their profile, even as we I've already them started, this. I've started, so as I'm mentioning it, I believe. They will also continue with their profile. So this is your profile. This is where you update your profile. I've talked about the headline. So you have to update your headline. Get yourself a background cover. And for the language, you can choose other languages apart from English. And this public profile and URL, this is where you, you know, optimize your URL. You make sure that you remove the numbers behind the URL and you just leave it to show your name and your surname. So that is that about the this particular aspect. So okay. Uh, um, well, that is please part, pause here. Can I, can please I finish? Pause here. Can okay. I finish? Can I finish, finish then okay. later. I believe this um this is on record, right? Yes, this is on record. Please go. Yeah, ahead. so they can. I think they can still go through it just because of time. Because yes, if I'm ahead. waiting for individuals to update, as I'm saying it, I feel it's going to take a lot of time. So when I'm done, there will be room for questions and then take it up from there. So um, under the name, you go to add profile session. So when you click on add profile session, it's going to show you different parts of your profile that you have to update. So you have to update your education. Yes, so you start with your education. This is where you include your your schools, maybe your, your BSc, your MSc, that's your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, your PhD, you update your education. Can you just click on the education so that I can go through it briefly? Okay, so this yeah. is where you add the name, your education. And you can also turn it on. This is off. But once you yeah. put it, you up, once you update everything that is here, your school degree, field of study, your start dates, and the end dates. If you are currently undergoing a program, maybe let's say PhD and it's still uh, on, you don't have to add, add the end date because it's still ongoing. The grade is not compulsory. You don't have to add the grade. The activities also, all these ones are not compulsory, but if you want to add it's fine. You can also add the skill and the media, the pictures if possible. And after adding all this part, it's very important also that you turn it on so that people that are in the school or people that are, you know, that are maybe from your university doing the same course and as you can also find you on LinkedIn. So once you add one, you keep adding the second one. See, you are done adding all your educational, you know, experiences or your educational information. So um, let's go to the next one. Can you close it? No, no, don't say. No, don't worry, it's my profile. I don't want to okay, tell you. Add profile time. session. Yeah. So the second one is position. Position is where you add your work experiences, all the work that you have done. 
So you just like your CV where you write, add all your work experiences. So can you say for the position, you add your title, your employment type, is it on-site, is it off-site? And for the company name, you add the name of the company, then go to location, is it in Accra, is it in Lagos and all that. Then the location type is, is it on-site? Okay, sorry, is it on-site, is it hybrid, is it remote? And if you are work currently working in the role, then you click it. But if you are not currently working in the role, you have to add the start month and end month. Because if you are currently working on a role in, in a particular role, that means that you are still working in that company. But when you are done working in that company, you don't have to click on it, right? And if, if you want to, uh, if you click on you are currently working in a particular role, it might request that you end your previous role. And the description is where you write out, you know, maybe some of the key achievements that you did in the company or the organization, some of the key achievements, maybe you started a particular initiative and all that, right? And then you go ahead and had the skills that you made use of in that particular role. Um, is it sales skills? Is it... Um, training, easy project management, you know, different skills that you have used. And as you're adding all these things, it's also making your profile to be visible because it has to do with keywords. Profile visibility is more about the keywords that you use. So if you use project management and any company needs, you know, somebody that has this project management skills, your profile might pop up because you already added the skill. So it's part of the things that makes your profile visible. So if you have a research skill, any skill that you use in a particular room, make sure you add it. Because one thing recruiter also do is that apart from you submitting your CV, they go ahead and check your LinkedIn profile and maybe they are interested in one of the roles or your work experience. So they go ahead and check the skill that you, you, know, you used for that particular role. And if they are interested in also enrolling you for that particular role and you have the skill sets, then they might just reach out to you for the job or anything. And other admin there, you can have pictures or maybe when you were working in the company, you know, pictures, Maybe when you were doing your research, you know, different pictures, you can add this, you can also add links, maybe for videos, for articles, most especially people that are into research, you can add link to your articles, link to your YouTube videos, you know, maybe you have a link for website, you can also add it, because I believe a lot of um, professors do write articles and they some have websites for their research and all all that so you can add the link you can also add pictures so once you keep adding you keep adding it one after the other once you are done with one job you save it then you go to that add position again then you start the process all over see you are done adding all your work experience right so that is that about the work experience can we go to the next part a minute So your services, um, please click on services. Okay, the services is where you had the skills and services that you provide. If you are into writing, research writing, you are into consultancy, you are into um, coaching and all of that, you can add it. They have a list of services that you can add in alignment. You just click on the add services and then you pick the ones that are in alignment with the services that you offer. For him now, he, he chose business consulting, market research, you know, different things. So you have to pick the services that you are also into, right? You pick different services that are in alignment. There are lists. Please, can you click on add service? So there are lists. These are lists of services that you can pick from. Under consulting, we have a lot of services under consulting, under coaching and mentoring. We have, you know, different ones. So you stick, you can pick. I think the highest you can pick is 15 or so. I think um, okay, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, the highest you can pick is 10. So you pick the services. And what this does for you is that when people are interested in any of these services and your profile pops up. 
they reach out for your services, right? So this part is also important. Apart from education, if you can be an advisor, you can offer consultancy um, um, service, you can offer, you know, writing services, editing, and a lot of things, all those services here, right? Um, uh, can we go back? So um, about this part is not actually so important, but if you want to add about, then you can just talk about the skills that you have put ahead. Like the skills that's about, you have to talk about the skills that you have written ahead, you know, how vast you are in that, um, all the areas that you have said, you know, you just have to write about it, just a, a brief summary of those services, right? And what makes you the best for the job i'm not i'm saying i'm not done with the previous part please i'm not done with the previous part okay hold on let me go back so it's just like in fiber and up what right what they what they should expect as regard those services you have to write it that what makes you stand out for them to reach out. That is just more about the uh, the about and the location. Uh, you you can it's it's going to show your location and also you able to work remotely. And for the pricing, you don't have to add pricing. Your pricing that is fine. You can add rates, right? Maybe you want to charge uh, fifty dollars, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, just charges and you also you can pick your currency currency that um, applies to wherever you are currently so you can add your consultants if you can you can just add your charges right but um you can also put contact for pricing just in case you don't want to just limit it to you know a particular set of people you just want everybody to be able to reach out to you and then you guys can talk about the you know the pricing then you you put um contacts for pricing and for the media, you can just add maybe pictures that are related to the services that you have offered, you know, flyers, different things. You can add it under the media, right? And also for the visibility, you can issue, I will encourage you to turn it on so that everybody can reach out to you so that you don't just limit it. There are some people that might just be scroll, scrolling through LinkedIn and they just feel like, let me just reach out to you. But if you're not off it, that means they won't be able to reach out to you. They will have to use premium to be able to reach out to you, right? So I feel you should allow LinkedIn members that you are not even connected to, to chat you because you never can tell. Some people might just be going through LinkedIn and they are just interested in your services, right? And once you are done with all these parts, then you can save it. And that is that about the services. Can't we go to the next part? Can we go to the next part? Yeah, um okay. trying to get to this and then okay. Then the career break. break. It's just like the um work experience. If you if you ever had a career break, yeah, maybe you went off for like two years. This is where you add your career break. So you can add your career break here. Okay. It's just like following the same pattern for the position, the title, the location. So this is where you add your career break. But we can just skip this part. Let's go to the next one. So skills, you can add up to 50 skills. And I think even more than 50 skills on LinkedIn. So this is where you add all your skills. But sometimes when you you have added all your skills in your work experience. You really don't need to go to this area. When you've added it under your work experience, you really don't need to add your skills yet. But if you still want to add more, then you can add more. But it's not necessary to add it. If you have added for each work experience, I, I feel all that is going to accumulate to you know all the skills that you have. But if you feel you want to add more, maybe as time goes on, you learn some skills and you want to add it. This is where you come to add it. So you just type the name of the skills and when it shows up you add it to your skill so that is that and it's going to also ask you where you you know use the skill that's why i said if you have added it under your work experience then you really don't need to add it here so let's go to the next one
recommendations. Okay, these are recommended um, parts that LinkedIn also wants you to add. They are not compulsory, it's just like recommended if you have them. So you can feature these, maybe there is a post you've already made and you want to add it to feature, like it's going to be part of the first post people see on your profile. So when you want to add feature, maybe you want to add a particular uh, publication, you want it to show on your LinkedIn profile, you go to feature and you can upload it or you go to your previous post where you have made that post and you add it to feature. You can click on add feature so that I can quickly go through it because of time. So this feature, can you see, it? it will take you to your profile. Yeah. So you can go to any of your posts and add the feature. And you can also click on the plus sign. There is this plus sign up here to add if, yeah. if you have a media, maybe you have a newsletter, you want to add an article, you want to add link for your videos, you know, once it's put on feature, then it's one of the posts that people see when you go when they go to your profile. So you can pick any options that apply to you to add your feature, or, you know, um, post or article. Can we go back? Please go back. Yeah, it, it, it working, so it takes some few minutes. Okay. So we are still under recommended. Okay. That's additional. Recommended. So um, you don't have to click on all those ones. So you can add your, you don't have to click on it. They can just go yeah, and add because, their um, Sorry, this group, I think this is very necessary for this community. So if you can talk briefly about it, licenses and certifications. These are okay, users that... start in academics and researchers. So. So you can add the name of the certificate, the organization, the issue date. If the credential has ID, you can add the ID. There is a URL where they can check the certifications or license. You can put it here. The skills, it's just like the formats followed for others. Yeah. So you have all the details here. OK, and so I'd like to add a few, a few to this. So here, if you're taking some short courses or some certification, uh, courses, this is where to add them. For instance, maybe you had a short training in data science, maybe with any of these online platforms like Coursera, EDX, yes, this is where to put them. Or maybe you had a training in one of these uh, programming languages, this is where you add them. And so you can showcase your skill set that you are able to uh, derive from that training and add evidences in terms of media, uh, links to where the certificates were issued and even the online version of the certificates and even uh, uh, photos, group photos that you took during the sections with some of your course mate or your training mates, you can put them here as an evidence of your training as well. So I think that is that you can you have already talk about the certification. So you can have the same for your project courses and also the recommendations. Maybe you have recommendations yeah. from someone. So you can go ahead and add it. And yeah. also the additional is the last part. The additional is if you wish to add it, they are not actually compulsory. You can add your volunteering experience, you can add your publications. You can add the patent, honors and awards, your test scores, languages, organization, organization and courses so they are long processes you just have to sit down and add it one by one so those are those about the this particular that's that about enhancing your profile adding all your profile session and once you are done adding all this part by the time you go to the damn part of your profile 
you will see that everything that you've added, they are now being arranged. Can you just go down? I'm like, So these are the experiences he has arranged. So LinkedIn is going to arrange it for you in this format once you are done adding all those parts. So it's going to be arranged till the last stage, you know, the education, everything. And also avoid too much information so that your profile can be visible. If, they are too over, if, if your profile is too overloaded with too much information, it's, it's really going to affect visibility because some people believe that adding a lot of information is what makes it visible. You still need to actually be careful, just minimize it and have the important ones, right? So um, let me go to the summary. Can you go to the about? This about part is your summary. Your summary is um is also more about who you are, what you do, and the value you offer, right? So if I want to write summary, or I want to write it for anyone, or I want to optimize someone's, or I want to just you know, because I'm into LinkedIn optimization, or I want to do it for anyone, what I do is I first introduce who they are, like who they are at the moment, and then I go into what they do. And what they do is also into their academics, their career, maybe they're into the research because I feel that is the format that is the best. Because if you are asked to pitch yourself, you are first asked, you have to start with introducing yourself, then what you do, then the values you offer, what they stand to get by working with you. Just like businesses, our company is this, is this, we are into this, this, is, we solve problems like this, is this. So if you want to reach out so also if you need our services, then email us or, you know, the last places where you, the action points that you want them to take can reach out to me through, you know, various um, formats and all that. So when, when you are done writing your summary, then you had your top skills. The top skills that are related to these offers, the service that you offer, the top skills. They can also be related to the kind of job that you are looking for. These top skills here under the summary. So they can also be related to the kind of job that you are looking for, the kind of offer you are looking for. But it's five that you can have under the top skills. So you have to make sure that they are in alignment with, is it five? I don't know. I've forgotten yeah. the number of top five. skills that you can have. But you can't add, five. You can't add a lot there. So you have to add the top yeah, five that are related five. to what you are into at the moment. And you know that is that about you know just updating your profile. So um, I want to go in, into the jobs part. Can you go to jobs? Jobs, okay. Okay, here we go. The job part is where you. Um, if for those that are, might be looking for a job or any kind of job, this is where you set up the job part because it's part of the features of LinkedIn, right? And this part is where you update the kind of job that you are looking for because any kind of job that you update is the kind of job that LinkedIn brings to you as they are open. When there are job openings related to that area, LinkedIn notify you so that you can apply. So you can find short, um, jobs with AI. AI can help you. You can just rewrite this AI or you can choose your preferences by yourself. So one of the things that um, determine the kind of jobs that come to you is what you search on that job application. So if you go to under the search, you, go to by you can go by title, the skill or company, right? You can start with maybe let's say program, program management or you start with the skill or the company. Maybe you are looking for a job under, let's say, um, WHOOP, World Health Organization, I'm not, I'm not here. So you are looking for a job under what else? Can you close this part, please? So if you are looking for a job under what else organization, you can search it there, or you are looking for a job that is related to teaching, just type teaching. Then you can choose the location. Yeah, if you just type teaching, then you choose the location next to it just go to the location next to it no under the location that is ne the next um
Yeah, because my profile is set to be my primary location to be Ghana and to bring me back to Ghana. Yeah. So, so you can I'm just changing. search for the kind of job. Let me go back. Sorry. Okay, so teaching. So you can pick your location next to it. Yeah. yeah. So you can choose your location wherever the place where you're looking for the job, you know. And once you are done, you can just search for it. Just go directly and search for it. Then it's going to give you, you know, list of available job that are, you know. So if you want to set alerts for teaching in that particular location, you have to own it. So once you own it, anytime there is teaching in that particular location, it's going to bring it to you. And you can also check for the jobs, you know. You can check the dates posted, the experience level, the company, the ones that are easy to apply, that you can easily apply for via LinkedIn. You know, you just have to check for different kind of jobs that are in that area. So this is like educational um, consultants. So you can read about it, then you can apply easily. Can we go back? Okay. So, um, the preferences, can we go to the preferences? So you can come further to this side to, you know, edit your preferences, like the open to work. Are you open to, you have to, some people choose open to all, but I advise that you should just put it to open to recruiters only, because if you put it to open to all, both fake and real recruiters will start reaching out to you. And it's it's also give, opens give you access to you know fake job opportunities opportunities so you can just put it as visible to recruiters only so that recruiters that are um well known on LinkedIn can actually you know see your profile as someone that is actually open to work and for the job alerts this is where you choose you know the location and the kind of job that you want can you click on the job alert. So you can pick your references, uh, your preferences here for the jobs in Ghana. Do you want daily notification or do you want it via your mail? Do you want it on LinkedIn? So I uh, will encourage that you also put, you know, via mail so that you can get notifications via your mail. So he has already listed the kind of jobs that is open to, as you can see on this page. So you can also put it there and put the location, the kind of job that you want. And once you are done, you just, Click on done. And there is another particular, can you close it? There's another particular part on the interview preparation. So if you want to, okay, this place, it's this qualification part, you can add your resume. Yeah, I don't want to skip it. You can add your resume here. The resume for the easy apply on LinkedIn. So you can add, upload your resume here. So that when you have want to apply on LinkedIn, you just pick your resume from LinkedIn and you just apply. So you just upload your resume here. I think you can upload a PDF and Word. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, you can upload in documents, PDF, and you know, those are the format that is acceptable. And you can also save your resume on LinkedIn. You can share it directly with recruiters via LinkedIn, right? So um, LinkedIn, for you to on this part, that means you give, you, you've given LinkedIn permission to share with recruiters and they are going to share your resume with recruiters directly on LinkedIn that are interested. That's for recruiters that are interested in your profile. So we can close this part. We can close this part. Okay. So the interview preparation, let's go to interview preparation.
the interview preparation, not preferences. So this is, you know, for you to just see the common questions, practice common questions about interview. So if you click on continue, you will see different common questions that you can practice and, you know, just practice for interview. This has um, likely questions that you can be asked at interview. And that's the way you have it here. So you can just check out the responses from people, you know, about this interview. There are some that you have to unlock. That is if you are using premium. But if you are not using premium, you may not be able to unlock some of the answers. But then you can just go on your own to just practice all these questions for your interview. And that should help you. So um, I think that is all about the, the features and updating your profile. So let's go back to our slide, please, because of time. So after the features, the next thing I have for my slide is the top benefits, um, top benefits of LinkedIn. Because aside getting jobs, sharing content and all that, there are so many benefits that you also start to gain when you use LinkedIn. And one of the benefits is building connections. LinkedIn gives you access to build connections with people. I mean, it was true connections that I got the opportunity to share about LinkedIn here. So if not for connections, I may not be able to, you know, get the privilege to share what I know about LinkedIn on this platform. So LinkedIn gives you access to connections, connections with professionals, connections with people that are in your field, connections with you know, different people that you, know, you can relate with, that you can build with, that you can collaborate with. So LinkedIn gives you access to build connections. Another thing is um, trust for your brand. So when we talk about branding, branding is more about you know, projecting yourself in the way you want to be perceived. If you want to be perceived as a research associate, then you have to be your LinkedIn in that part by working on your headline, telling, uh, talking about it in your bio and all that. So it helps you to build trust for your brand because the more you post about what you do, you share pictures, images and all that, people know that you have a story to tell, you have um, the processes is there, they can trust you. And if you've worked for anyone, it's also part of you know building trust for your brand. So when you have um, a, a profile or a page on LinkedIn, then it's part of you know building trust because when you Google yourself now, when you Google your name, one of the things that pop up is your LinkedIn profile. So when somebody wants to work with you and they want to be very sure that you are genuine, they can search for you on Google. And when it shows up your LinkedIn profile and the things that you have done, because when you Google yourself, it shows some of the content that you have posted on LinkedIn and your profile. And people can see this thing is one of the things that helps, you know, to build trust for your brand. Um, recently, I was nominated for LinkedIn Influencer of the Year by Pulse. And just within yesterday and the day before yesterday, I got some influencing gigs. I think it was based on that, that I was able to get some influencing gigs to influence or some brands. So it's it's part of those things. For you to be nominated as an influencer, that means there is something that you are doing. And sometimes when I ask people, how do you come across my profile? Some would be like, I Google LinkedIn, I Google influencing on LinkedIn, or I Google LinkedIn optimization, and your name pops up. So it's part of the things that helps you to build trust because Google, sometimes if you don't know about something, people will tell you to Google it. So if your name should pop up on Google, that means you, you have something that people can actually gain from, right? And okay, that one is for business owners, right? Another benefit of um, LinkedIn is it helps you to be easily found by recruiters and IR managers. Because by the time you are done updating on your profile, it's just like revamping and optimizing it and using the necessary keywords. When link, um, iron managers need somebody for a particular role, so they simply go to LinkedIn and search for the name of that role. And if that um, keywords, they are also in your LinkedIn profile, your, your profile pops up and they can easily reach out to you. So for job seekers, if you want an accounting job, let's say maybe you have chosen your part-time, full-time and anyone, LinkedIn also give you updates on all these jobs because we, we just went through the job part also. So let's say, for example, you've been searching for the teaching and all that. You also get notifications, and this also helps you to 
connect to the right opportunities and also apply, right? And I also wrote that you always get notifications about job available, then you also apply some strategies when sending out your applications to be considered um, among others. Please, let's go to the next point. LinkedIn helps your name rank on Google. That's number four benefits. LinkedIn helps your name rank on Google in such a way that when people search for your name on Google, like I mentioned earlier, your, your, your name, your profile pops up. So it's part of the benefit. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you may search for your name and your name doesn't, uh, you know, don't, uh, your name won't pop up. But for the fact that you are using LinkedIn and you've updated your profile, you've optimized it, it helps your name to pop up. When people search for your name, just like me, if you search for my name on Google, it's going to bring out my profile and it's going to give you a brief summary of the offers and services and the things that I've done. It can even show you some of the things, you know, the projects or the testimonials or everything from my clients. Because when people also mention you on LinkedIn or they share something that's related to you, when they Google you, it can show all those all those kind of information. Maybe you've written articles, you've um you've been interviewed by popular you know media and all that. Your name also pops up. It's part of the things that add up that makes you rank on Google. Like I, I have a, a, an ebook that I published I think two years ago that are strategies to land jobs and gigs on LinkedIn. Does that if you search for strategy to land jobs and gigs on LinkedIn, my ebook is still the first that has been ranking since last year. So it's part of the benefits of LinkedIn. When you have you know articles, you have ebooks that you you know different things that you do. It's Google and you you you, you put it Google. So sometimes you don't have to put it on website or anything before it ranks. When you write about it on LinkedIn. It helps it to rank on Google. And people believe the first to third, you know, ranking on Google if they want to make any decision. So imagine if your name or whatever you're doing pops up among the first to third. So it helps it to be trusted and people can easily reach out to you. And number five benefits, LinkedIn advances your career, right? In such a way that when you meet with the right people, when you meet with the right professors, you know, doctors and all that, it can advance your career. I've met with a lot of lecturers, you know, from different universities, both in Nigeria and abroad via LinkedIn, and I've interacted with them. Some of them have actually assisted me in some of the things that I do. So it's 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 really helpful, you know, having a LinkedIn profile that gives you access to people that on a normal day you can't even reach out to them. So it helps you to advance your career. You can even get recommendations from these people you know, from LinkedIn. And that's part of advancing your career. You can get recommendation, you can get, you know, it could be for a job, it could be for something. They can just recommend you via LinkedIn, maybe for promotion, for relocation and the likes, right? So that's part of the benefits. Another benefit is also networking with top professionals and international personnel, okay? If I'm, I'm here in Nigeria and I have so many professionals that I've networked with all over the world. I have people from India, I have people from Nigeria, I have people from US, Canada, Australia. I've worked with a lot of people that are not even in my country that we have not met in person, just via LinkedIn. So, but you just have to make sure that you are strategic in networking with people you don't just send random messages you have to make it professional so that they can take you serious and they don't just see you as one of those people that they just message people for fun on linkedin right so it gives you access to network with people another one on, on another benefit is you can gain social proof for your skills and talents all right there is a part on linkedin where people can actually recommend you maybe you work with them you offer the service, you did something for them, they can recommend you and they can also endorse you for your skills. As everybody is here now, if you have a community group, everyone can just recommend each other. You can just endorse one another for your skills. All the skills that you have listed, people can endorse you, they can recommend you for those, your services, for your skills. And it's part of the things that boost your profile as somebody that, you know, that actually knows this particular work, they know this particular job, they are trusted, you know, and they can deliver well. So social proof for your skills and talent is one of the benefits that LinkedIn gives you. Another thing is LinkedIn gets you high-paying clients, right? There are some of my 
my services that um, I, I used to charge low for when I first started. And the more I keep using LinkedIn, I started charging higher for it. I had the confidence, I have that confidence to charge higher for my services now without even feeling bad for it. Because I know that this is it, I've worked for it, and these are my okay. targets. Can, can, we, and can we round up, please? Because it. we want to take a few questions before. Yeah. You know. And the last one I'm going to be talking about is LinkedIn give you access to top skill certifications courses for free. So there are LinkedIn courses, just Google LinkedIn learning and you get the certifications and that's all. I feel like everybody can have access to the slide and read the rest. So please can go ahead with the questions. And I also love okay. us to just um, make hasten it because I have other programs. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you very much. I think um, it is it is not only a presentation, it is com a complete, you know, um, uh, what do you call it, a complete training on how to optimize our LinkedIn, you know, information. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I don't think if we have time for the summary of everything, but I, I, I can see that people are following, you know, from the beginning up to now. And later we will share the link for the video for someone that want to watch again, and also we we'll share the uh, the presentation also. So for now, please for those that have questions, I will pick one or two people so that we can, you know, have this interaction, uh, so that she can answer. And if if there is no question, then because we are we are supposed to finish this uh, program by 9.30. So we still have like 10 minutes. So if there is any question, uh, you can raise up your hand using the electronic hand sign. Before we, we get any question from the audience, a quick one. Uh, uh, you have demonstrated how people can, you know, add their experience, their everything but my question here is uh you did not demonstrate how can some how can someone remove this kind of information how can they remove yeah like if you want to delete maybe you added something and you want it's to it's the it. same way they added it that they will remove it just go to edit and delete it it's, it's just like the same way instead of save you go ahead to that save part and delete it it's just like the same step same step. All right. Thank you. Uh, I think someone uh raised up his hand. There's Mustafa slide by. Mustafa, please can you unmute yourself and ask your question? Make it brief, please. All right. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Madam, for this insightful presentation. Uh, my question here is: under my bios, I saw open to add profile session, enhance profile. I didn't see. Uh, resources ask for your own profile or doctors who was uh, presenting I didn't see resources so what could be the cause for that thank you Sorry, I didn't get the resources part uh, under my bios I saw open to add profile session enhance profile and then okay. more uh, in the case of doctors own it was there was a session called resources so why was why was why the difference uh, I don't know the resources that you're talking about, but open to means that maybe you are open to work. And we've already done that for your profile. Once you upload your profile, there is a part that um, shows open to recruiter or open to all LinkedIn members. And I mentioned that it's, it's better for you to make it open to recruiters instead of open to all LinkedIn members to avoid, you know, to avoid it open to just everybody because there are fake recruiters also out there. So instead of just, if you click on that open to, it will ask you if you want it to be open to recruiters or open to all LinkedIn members. And then you make it open to strictly recruiters so that it's only recruiters that are actually viewing your profile for job opportunities. And for the enhanced profile is for, um, if you want to enhance it using AI, you can use the help of AI to enhance your profile, maybe to help you to write the things that you don't, you, you don't maybe you cannot compose the right English and you will need the help of AI to enhance your profile. And the resources part, I, I, I really don't get that aspect. I don't know the resources parts. I don't know the, the, I, I really don't know the resources part that you're talking about. Except if you can show me your profile and 
Maybe if you can <laughs> show your profile. Uh, Mustafa, are you with us, please? Yes, I'm with you. Um, currently, I'm using the the I'm using the computer and then the the tablet to log in to the the meeting. So okay. that's why I can't I can't share it now. But it's okay. Uh, you can probably so, share it with Dr. Kojo. I feel like he right. also yeah he knows about it. Okay, Dr. Kojo is. Um... Sharing his screen, probably he wants to show something. Oh, this resource is, you said it's not showing in your own. Yes, yes, there you go, there you go, very good. It's not that showing, it's not showing it's in not, your profile. Not at all. Is it on phone or laptop? Because if you are using oh. phone, it may not show, but if you use no, your I'm laptop, you should see laptop. it. I'm, I'm using, I'm using it from a laptop. That's why I didn't log in on laptop. So I wanted to use the LinkedIn on my laptop. So I'm using the tablet to join the meeting. But on my proof, not showing, that resource is not showing. Well, it's not, really, well, it's not really a big deal. It's not really a okay. big deal because you can go to settings also to and see the same thing. You can go to settings. It's just like, like you want to share the link to your profile or you want to send your profile to someone or you want to save your profile in form of PDF or you want to check you know, the demo, um, demographic information, it's more about your profile. Like you can save your profile in a PDF format. Maybe you want to write your CV and you need information. So you just save your profile to PDF format. It's going to bring it out to you in form of uh, PDF um, format. So on your phone, just go to settings and also okay. check the same thing. Yeah, if you go to settings on your phone, you are going to see the same thing. All right, thank you. Um, thank you very much, uh, Gabby. I think it was comprehensive, the answer. Please, any other question? Because um, our speaker said she has another engagement immediately after this. So if there's any question, please, can we make it snappy? If not, um, Okay, uh, from the look of things, there is no uh, question uh, from the audience. And uh, as I've said, that we are going to share the link for the video of this presentation later. And then, and also, we'll also share the uh, PDF, you know, to the OAD group. Uh, this webinar was organized by the Agri Research Group or the Organization of uh, African Academic Doctors. And if you are not in any of these groups, either the Agri Group or the the OAD main group, uh, you can check in the chat box. There are there are links, or you can, you know, link with any of the members to help you uh, to help to put you in the groups, so that you'll be updated on our programs. We have been having a different webinar series, and even if you are not related to agriculture, you can go to the main group first, and you can find the group that suits your you know profession. Uh, before we close it, I, I would like to uh, call on the coordinator of the Agri Research Group, uh, Dr. Kojo, to give us um, a closing remark or I say thank you message to Oluwashi uh, Gabi Akinola, that is our speaker for this uh, comprehensive training on how to optimize our LinkedIn information. Uh, Dr. Kojo, please, uh, just a brief one because time is against already. Um, hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, thank you, Dr. Smila and Victoria for holding the fort and also um, for anchoring the section. I would like to also use the opportunity to thank um, our facilitator, uh, Gabby, for making time out of her time schedule to join us and to help us uh, know the nitty gritties in optimizing our LinkedIn profile to be able to put ourselves out there, leverage on the platform and be able to um, connect and also network and also uh, be able to take advantage of opportunity that a platform presents to us as graduate students, especially with our community. Um, let me say that uh, LinkedIn has advanced. LinkedIn is now part of Microsoft. In other words, it's also part of ChatGPT. ChatGPT partly is owned by Microsoft. So everything you can see there, the whole platform has now 
built into this kind of uh, big conglomerate. And so everything that Microsoft does now can all be accessible on LinkedIn. Um, that makes it also a platform of, of the goal. And so in recent times, when there was this issue about um, uh, the takeover of Twitter, most academics and research institutions have switched to using the platform to rather advertise the academic positions and vacancies. And so those of you who are still looking for graduate programs or looking for uh, postdoc positions or looking for academic-centered positions, this is the right platform. You see most lecturers and professors advertising uh, positions or opportunities within their labs, and you can actually directly engage them, chat them up, and, and send your CV to them. Instead of you just going to put your application in the application pool, that sometimes could go without them noticing. But this one, you can directly deal with the PIs who are advertising their positions in their lab and their department, and you uh, they will give your application a priority. And so I will urge all of us who are on this platform, those who are not yet taking advantage of this to to have a second look of it and then make good use of the platform. If you personally face a problem in optimizing your profile, you can reach out to me and I'll find time to assist you to optimize your profile. I also like to thank uh, our executive, the, the ESCO of OAD for giving us the opportunity to, to, host, this uh, to host this section. Um, there's also last section before the end of this month and we should be announcing that in the coming week once we have confirmed that with the facilitator. Uh, above all, I would like to thank you all for making the time out of your busy schedule this evening and weekend to be here with us. And thank you very much. Should you have any problem, like we said earlier on, don't hesitate to reach out to us to assist. Uh, wish you all the very best and a fruitful week ahead. Gabby, thank you very much. I'll get back to you privately. Thank you. Back to you, Smiler. Okay. Um. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, I don't know if... Um... If the if Gabi is is still with us, or probably she has logged out already. Oh, uh, she has logged out of uh, already. Okay, that that brought us to the end of this uh, session, and as it was said by our you know leader, that is our coordinator of the agri research group. That there will be another session, you know, before the end of the month, and it will be communicated, you know, uh, within our uh, platforms. So if you are not in any of the platforms, please kindly reach out so that it can be added, you know, to the groups. And please, for those that are that have been added into the agri group, actually, as a norm, you are supposed to be part of the main group, the OAD main group, before you have been, uh, before you can be added into subgroups. But some that found themselves in the so, so, uh, subgroup, please try and you know, get in touch with those, uh, you know, that are coordinating that particular subgroup to add you in, into the main group. We have dif uh, different groups. The main group are so many because there are so many people, I think up to five. And also there are a French group and, you know, some other groups that use different languages for the OAD. So please try and be part of the, you know, a big family. And, you know, stay tuned for, uh, for the next session. Uh, thank you very much for attending this session. Uh, I don't know, probably we may have a group uh, uh, group photograph as usual. If So we may need to call on our videos so that we can capture as much people as possible. Uh, just a few people. Open their cameras. Um, Can we... Just to reassure you, if you sign up, we will share the recordings and also share the materials with you as well. If you still need it and you've not sent us your email, please put your email in the group. Uh, we'll take it up from there and share the materials with you. Yeah, okay. 